bright good evening. Good evening, Cassandra. Yama Wakaba. Oh, Yami Yana Tono. So, be a kachina, be a kachina, be a minya. Wow, I love that. But, um, we 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 honored to have you before I met Shasiano, uh, and as a metro asono, Benda say, eh, Benda Wusu be diako, CEO of Coco Benz, eh, and a yenya your coconut water. Now, so I say, eh, you are one of you know, you are his colleague, and or simin chia woman. All right, okay. <laughs> now, um, like I was saying, yen ye be be my mood Culture of reading already a low. Let me let me put it that way. Most of us, um, you know, you read it yet yet, and you're very cumbersome. My, and you know, very few of us na yena culture of reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ye ni ye 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 tu ye hufu. Say we're not going to be. You know, we don't want it to be said. So we pass out hide the bbf bbf ni huwa fashion book mo. See because of that, niyama bbf ya. You know, we could have done. No, ni na ya hide the book mo because nobody wants to read. Now, what motivated you? To first of all go into writing, first of all writing and kasano and she da nye yi wo ye maimu. So how did you, a young man? Because I know say so you didn't just start writing now. So what your five books are? Not just say even younger in your twenties you were already writing or you were interested in it. How what motivated you say? Would your baby a enkofon she da enkohono? Eko na opesa oko. Okay, Cassandra Medasi. Abraham was senior high school. But don't bang a unique Thank you. My first year in senior high school, Bedi yeah. Bunsu Senior High School, a very popular school in the Western region. Now, my teacher, I think he was in charge of PE, Mr. Ankama. Okay. I identified him now, I should be the student reporter. Okay. So, now I'm here in there, say, you're called sporter, now my report as a journalist. Okay. Then I bring it to the assistant headmaster in charge of academics. Now, no, so I edit. The content of it. After that, you know, they would print and paste on a notice board. So I wrote for some time. I came to Legon. Now, mm -hmm. Legon, I'm a student activist. And if you want to be popular in activism, you have to learn how to write. You have no to print. write, you know, those articles, political no articles. Print. So now we throw articles, but okay. Now I'm starting. I didn't see that it was going to get to this point where I would write books. Yeah. But we didn't catch them there. Me, I'm a monstro because I'm a true way. I can compile those articles into books. Okay. And for me, I, I listened to them, but I didn't really see how it was going to be possible because articles were political and they were on issues. So I didn't know how those articles could become a book. A book. In Timutro, so uh, after some time, I think somewhere 2016, 2017, when I was about leaving Legon, I identified that many people on campus know, and I'm a very typical Christian. Now, who there are many Christians, I just focus on going to church, yeah. going to church, going yeah. to church. They have not yet understood the concept of purpose. Mm. Yeah, so they just go to church, come back, go to church, and just go sink. Mm -hmm. So I was led by God to write a book on purpose. Okay. And that book had the fall written by Professor Godfrey Alufa Bokpin, University of Ghana. It was also endorsed by Professor Abuchi who, before he died last two years, was Ghana's most renowned chronologist and penologist. Prof. Abochi taught a lot of scholars like Harun Edrisu, Professor Atuguba, Professor Dimanatifwa, uh, Dr. Nadumos. So he was a very prominent person. Yes. So he endorsed, in fact, Prof. was the reason why I released the first book on time. Okay. When Prof. read the book, he said, Brian, don't delay the book. Oh, wow. Yes. So that was the first book. Okay. But much of book, I didn't know how I was going to write a book again because I didn't have any content again. <laughs> I was saying I didn't have any content yes. again. Yeah. So I was just there when I felt like, let me write on friendship. Okay. So I began writing a book on friendship. So I wrote a book on friendship, released the second book <laughs> on the 8th of December, 2018. I moved on. So the next year, I think I wrote a book about the church, uh, the mandates of the modern day church. After that time, I've not written any books again. I was on the low, but I was writing the other books I was, I'm bringing. I'm, I must say that, you, first of all, you're remarkable because, um, you know, uh, young people, I mean, you know, entertainment, because book writing takes a lot. A lot, yes. And, you know, and now, in answer now, we'll be true book. I'm a, you know, in go for it sa I na aye confident in it. Not just a one kasa, no one your one kasa who research. And I believe say ne, um, you know, after this conversation, a lot of people, especially young people, 
will be learning from you. Yes. Now, that's it, the, from the conversation from Nyawuka, your submission earlier, Nyawuka said it is from, from secondary school. Yes. The, yeah, the, we can say that the writing, the, yes, it yes, actually yes. started from yes. secondary school. Now, let's come to turning it into a business. business. Because, um, and Kofu Bebri, you were talent, you know? yes. you were passion you know, for something. Yes. Writing, yes. dancing. Yes. Eh? Now, so no, and you know, Nana said you, you're part of the world, you know, Sika mm -hmm. So, for you, and first of all, you can generalize it and then now also zoom in on Wanka Sound. How were you able to now begin to commercialize Nyawoyen? Okay, but I must be frank and tell you that when I started writing, I didn't see it as something that I should commercialize. Yes, for me, I was just thinking of impacting my world. God has given me so much. There are a lot of deposits in me. How can others benefit? That was the motivation. Mm -hmm. But it got to a time I realized that you cannot just focus on the impact bit of it. Because you're going to print books. You need <laughs> money. I like that you said that. You're going to print books. Okay. And book printing is very expensive. expensive. Okay. It's really. In fact, I told friends yesterday, and I even wrote to my studio, that when I become a star, one thing I want to do is to sponsor Did the printing. Did you just printing. say when you become a star? Of course, I when you're already a star. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can't wait to, to sponsor young people. Yeah. I can't wait to, to help them print because print. I believe that is one of the greatest ways to inspire them to write. Absolutely. I speak here. If I should have somebody saying, right, I'm going to sponsor your writing. Trust you me. You will write Next more. year, yeah, you write I have a lot of practice I want to do. <laughs> I get you. It is the finances that is quite restraining me. Yes. Yeah, so I realize that if I write and I bring the book out and I don't sell the books, I don't look at the financial bit of it, I'm going to struggle. I wouldn't have money to, to print again. It would even die. So you need to surely, you know, consider that aspect of it. Yes. So after the first book, the second book, I realized that, no, I need to now sell my book. I don't have to give. You know, sometimes people want free copies. Absolutely. And I ask myself, even if you don't think about the energy we put in it, think, think about, about the, the printing. printing. I know. Because my, my upcoming books, for example... It will shock you. I have spent my night in the church room just to type. I mm. left my bed because there was temptation to sleep. Yes. So I leave the, the house, go to the church room no, from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Now what? To write. I... The mosquito bite. <laughs> so if you not even consider that aspect, think about the expenses, Sika, the cool, printing. Mono. Yeah, All I right. get you. So I realize that, no, I just cannot think about the impact aspect of it. I, I should also sell books. I should not just give the books out. I will take the book just like it because I want to print more copies. I would want to print other books. So I need to also look for ways and means to sell my book. All right. And you see, sometimes you cannot do everything by yourself. So as a writer, you need to identify people who can help market your books for you. Okay. So I began looking for people who strategize, okay, right, let's do this, let's do that. So I would do the writing bit, but I have a team that would uh, help me in the I marketing. Like that. I like that. Because I cannot do. I my like strength that. does not lie in that aspect. <laughs> you see, if you are an entrepreneur, it doesn't mean that you do everything by yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to tap into the potentials of other people. I like there are people who have done marketing. They are experts. They know how to sell. You look for them and you, help, you let them help you in the sales. After all, the money will come and you have your share. You also have your share. I like that. But if you are a young person and you just focus about the impact bit of life, you may sometimes struggle. There is a school of thought that say a young person, I just think of the impact and the money will come. Mm. But sometimes you have to think about the two. You impact. can have the two at the same time. At the same time. Yes. Because me who say um talent, no? Since I say as a talent in Yeah. It's because young young consider both. Yeah. Me need me 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 But then young consider sick partner. Yeah. If you do time, you will be so frustrated. You be ja, a day you tell and you pass and you nimu your pan. You be ja what cockroach you should be before from mm -hmm. to put food on yeah. the table because yes. this one is not sustainable. Exactly. Is Emma. But yeah. see, as a young person, you are going to marry. If you are married, you are going to marry, and the Bible places the duty of provision on you. Yeah. The woman only comes in to support you in the provision. So if you are using your passion to save the world and there is nothing coming out of it, how are you going to marry? How are you going to establish a family? How, how are you going to depend on people? And so you just cannot think about the impact aspect of life. Think about how you can sell your talent. I like that. It's I important. Like that. I like Talking about selling your talent, it means hey, you are putting a certain brand yes. on yourself. 
for you as an entrepreneur, a writer, um, kwambe so na ufa ya, what ya package on him? And not, you know, kwambe, what was the, take us through the process. The reason why I'm saying that is because it becomes a practical, um, you know, kind of incubation yeah. um, 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 for someone at OTA. Yeah. So through this conversation, Nipani nim so okay, I love writing, but I say, macho book be a But then from what Bright said, I'm going to follow Bright's footsteps. Nama try and pose. So tell us, um, how, how, how did the, the, the thing about cry? branding is that many people have gotten it wrong. They think branding is just about wearing nice kaftan and wearing nice shoes every day, and that would make you a brand. No. I think the first point is building your, your, your mind, your potentials. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Fresh am I. So, are there, it's a boat yourself. Yeah. Because that is the most important you are selling it's not your dressing so that month won't want they see you that you have something to offer okay so when they see that you have something to offer they'll run to you even there many people are doing what you'll be doing and you need to stand out the mm. people should see you and say this person stands out so from what you're saying even if me provide a service and i'm yeah. your product it should still start for me yes okay you should you should you see you are a brand so you need to brand your personality before you can even brand your products. So people should have some respect for you. Mm. You see, when I got to University of Ghana first year, I got some of my mates saying that I'm their mentor. Okay. All right. So the moment people begin to, you know, confer that title on you, it means that if you even say anything rubbish because of the status they've, they've placed you, you see, so somebody knowing that Cassandra is a very determined lady, she's a very smart lady, by virtue of that status the person has given to you, anything you bring out will likely sell because mm. the person knows Cassandra has this brand. Cassandra is for this. No, sir, it's because of senior. We now are brand you, Yes, how India. you carry yourself. Okay. When you talk, the quality you churn out. Mm. All right. So branding should not just be about the wearing of dresses, but your potential. When you speak, people should, <laughs> to see quality, <laughs> even those who don't like you. See, yeah. I know some people don't like me. Yeah. But even that, one thing they don't lie about is the fact that I speak the truth. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So if you brand yourself, people would have no reason. But some of your enemies will still come for your products. No crap. Sometimes they will hide and come for a product. Yeah. So you need to brand yourself. You need to show that what you are doing, you are good at it. If it's about writing, Take time to write. Keep on practicing. The more you practice, the more you become perfect. Yo. So keep on writing. Of course, you will not become an expert in the day. Aye. But little by little, poco a poco. Yeah, of course. You would uh, uh, you Take us through the process. Uh, would it would it throw, um, you know, you, you've told us in the first one, of yeah. and fast, so, but take us through usually, what is the process uh, a go into Obabe Chubuka? Um, you know, a your thoughts about and you put it together. And maybe say, maybe some of my home. I mean, for, for, for some time now, I've been thinking of coming up with a business book. Yes. Not because I'm an excellent writer, yeah. but because of the knowledge that if you money have, exactly. show you know, yes. it can't just, you know, go you see, waste. I, I am a catcher man for the, mm. what makes you a writer? It's not always about the English, the content. Your content, and your content. because sometimes at Trower we have people who edit your works for uh -huh. you. Okay, my so yours is to get the content. content if no. you have the content, just try your own way. You will surely have people who would help you in the editorial part of it. Matthias, yeah. So as a writer, well, writer be almost true. Uh -huh. But what I do is that when I conceive of the idea, okay, write on this book, write on this book, uh, I begin to you know jot down the thematic areas that I want to look at. But your thematic areas, in yeah, the main table. areas you know, <laughs> like some of our area for example, we are talking about dating. Aye. What about dating? Do you want to talk about? And our person who can want them. Yeah, okay. I'll talk about how to sustain dating. Okay. What kills a relationship? Mm -hmm. All right. So, me now the broad topic now. Then I break it down. So, anytime I'm going around, I just open up myself. I observe a now lot. I'll observe it. Then okay. I'll be creating the topics. But you see, the one challenge of, of, of writing is that sometimes if you don't allow yourself to be tamed, you allow pride to let you forget content. Because ABI, you get a content right now. If you don't jot it down, you may forget. Mm. So, I mean, ABI, I have my phone with me. Okay. So, anytime I have an idea, I just type it. No, I shall say I type it. Mm. If I'm feeling lazy, I record. 
Okay. So that the next time I have some time, I just type no, I my content. Type so I just write small, 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 small. Sometimes deliberately I engage people into argument. Just because to know how they think. Say, okay. Okay. I want to test whether my argument is sound. Mm -hmm. So I open up and argue people. What do you think about this? Mm. So the, the, the outcome of that debate would form some part of the things I write. Yeah. yeah. If I see that their content is more solid than mine, I change my view. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I write those things most, most, most. But I realize I've gotten a lot of pages. Now when your pages. But you should know, Entomun use a dark your book. It will okay. take some time. So don't rush. Just give yourself time. Anything that you have, just write. Right. Monsieur. One author of four books last week, uh, Thursday. Okay. Now catch him in the book or train, Facebook or train. He used 20 years to write a book. Mm -hmm. So that was oh, wow. No, yes. Oh, wow. Some people use a lot of years to write books. Yeah, no and don't forget, people are a fast writer, being a fast writer. So I believe almost everyone can write a book. Yes, I believe because almost of being everyone. Because your life experiences. Exactly. But then, then again, yeah, one more, a gift to sell with you. And to me, I say, I mean, I say, I give to me to me, me to me, bright, you know, yes. Now, me, much, I was sending a meme per se, and can you package, you know, money have conversations I have in you into book because in you know, you know, yes. yeah, yeah, yes. it comes naturally, too. yes, that's true. Some people have the flair <laughs> when they write, you like this person is a writer, no, yeah. but almost everyone can write once you have the content and you have some simple flair for English, I would be more natural. Mm. The professional writers or editors will do the rest for we'll you. Will do the rest for yes. you. Yes. Now, while you are talking, a demanding echo, baby, and that is, does it mean, say, a niama ye ready, and I say niama enko for trono, a ye wamoa wamo experiences, and I, and I say wamo, and this one may pick your mind as 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 uh, you know as an intelligent writer. Um, Nyama ye ready because yes, ye ready. I love to read now. I mean, I've gotten to the point where me person me ready Nyama be brain. But then, could it be say Nyama be brain? So I may read it now. Be brain na ye. Oh, before fun na doing and I say say ni onu hu no en onu watro. Not necessarily what it is. That's that's very true. See, <laughs> every writer has uh, an agenda. The agenda can either be good or bad. Okay. Uh, and it depends on the content you are writing about. So, mm -hmm. for example, if you're writing something that has to do with Christianity, it may not always be about what you want to write, what we think. It should be about what the Bible says, because people can also read the Bible and know what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. So, in that instance, you write based on the sound biblical teachings you have, because people also have the chance to weigh your content. Okay. And if you are, I, I mean, an author, you care about your brand, that people should not read your books and say, ah, who is this person? He doesn't I really have content. New York. Right? And the other books that people write with their own, you know, underpinnings. But every writer has some biases. And so if you pick a new book, expect the biases of the author. Mm. And that is, yes, and that's the reason why you must not just pick a book, uh -huh. read and pick everything. And then they what can occur actually? Yes, you, 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 you have to, yes. <laughs> and you see, there are some content in a book that does not apply to your environment. No if, and for many books we read, they are from the Western world. Aye. Their environment influences what they write. So if you just go and pick everything they say and apply, you may get it wrong. Mm. So you need to weigh content. I tell people, I give in my second book, for uh, my, my, my fifth book, for example, I give a yardstick for accepting an information. The first one is about tenability. That is the person able to prove, give a very cogent basis for what he or she is saying. So I can some. So be true, be be. Mm -hmm. Is it always now? What's in the panel prove it to you? You should be able to prove what you say should have a basis. Mm. If, for example, you say women are wise, mm -hmm. you should give us a basis for what you are saying. Mm -hmm. If you are saying men are wise, you should give us a basis. Don't just say try. Mm -hmm. You must say something and have a basis, a proper basis. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a proper basis, you can make it as a personal statement. Okay. That is a personal claim for you. It, it, it's not a conclusive uh -huh. statement. Matthias, yeah. Aside that standard of tenability is the next one. Usefulness. My name is Kano. Is it useful to you? Mm -hmm. It's not to me, really, baby, but one can say it's not useful to you. See, there is one teacher I met here, for pure car. What's it? Men don't value I love you. All right? Mm. Men don't value I love you. Mm. I tell people, I see, if you go and take that content to apply with me, you fail because I really value I love you. <laughs> I'm very emotional. 
So I love affirmations. If you tell me, baby, you are the best gift in the world, <laughs> but for you, my life will be lifeless. Okay. Your life is sweeter than the magic fruit. Okay. You see, I love those words. Right. So if you go and listen to a teacher say, for example, now that men, yes. Um, so you must look at what mm. you are dealing with. Is it useful to you? Okay. The next one is about the godliness. Does it contradict with the Bible if you're a Christian? Aye. Because some content are there, they don't really conform to scripture. They are content that run counter to scripture. So you use this three yastic. If you use this yastic, you'll be able to. But unfortunately, a man for pee, just take <laughs> everything. <laughs> they just practice. Which, which is not. Which is not. Which is right. not. And especially when people think that a book is a perfect, you know, material. There is uh -huh. no flaw. It's well, it. In you see, before this conversation, I would have thought so. It means as if say book it's perfect, perfect. And and uh, until so oh. uh, you know, I picked say ah na say a mimi side of the story in a way in America. Mimi environment, what affects me in yes. America. But then I like where you're also saying say say e fine. Of course. And you don't need to consume everything. Consume yes. what? Yeah, but that's a challenge for some people. Some people also want to pick information because it suits them. So, you see, they have their own biases, which is not original, which is not good. So, a content comes, the content is solid, but because they have their own stance, they don't take time to pick it. That may be the, see, one of the easiest way now mm -hmm. to make it is to become a populist. Just tell people what they want to hear. They'll hail you. Uh, no crap. So no crap. although they are telling you what you want to hear, they are destroying you. No crap. So you don't also have to reject a content just because it doesn't suit you. Because a content may be right for you, yet you may not take it because it doesn't suit okay, you. Because, so yeah. we should also not be in a hurry to reject content. We should wait and see this content. Is it tenable? Martial. Is this content, is it useful? Is this also godly? If it passes this test, forget about what we think and pick it. Lovely. All right. Happy now, the way Fidia to happy 98.9. Uh, this is the Money Hub with Cassandra. Yeni Bright and Etuche and Komo. He's an author as well as uh, um, an entrepreneur. And yet, easy. So, the true book. Now, what true about whom you know me and sir? And now, you know, it is not easy. And the kind of people endorsing his books, professors, you know, I mean, people who are learned, people like and go for a woman does who book and no one on you. You don't need anybody else to say book and a yeah, and I say any on any literature and come on because first of all, we we talking about very unconventional businesses to say writer. And they, how do writers even market their books? We're going to come there, no change, how or no, or marketing a book. If you are with just like a cancel, you have to make a true book. So say, yeah, you have to change what true book? But who name? And I say, oh, be be part to tell the world. Oh, content upon. But you don't know how to go about it. I believe so by the end of this discussion, at least Uber picky be be room and to be that motivation or the best chance yet. Me part of Kwambe and so, and now, Offer so a marketing or books. Okay, so basically, semi travel car. I often time use endorsements. Okay, the endorsements are only in the book. In the central book, now you wouldn't know what people are saying about the book. Ah. So I design flyers with the content of the endorsement. Then I share it all over. <laughs> so we want to say we believe in your judgment. For example, somebody believes in the judgment of Cassandra. Yes, and she's seen. That Cassandra has endorsed their book. That person will be willing to read their book mm -hmm. because of that. Very true. And so basically, all my books, you no, know, I always use endorsement of key people who are influential. That is awesome. So that they will just, uh, once they believe in, in in their judgment and they see what they are writing about the book, it becomes uh, the motivation for them to. I speak now. Many people are looking for the book because of what they've read. I yeah. Many people are just eager. I uh, mean, and like you said about the endorsements, Mimi Hunko for I endorse now yeah. already. You know, I was eager. Yeah. I was eager no, to. No, read there the is book. one endorsement written by a best-selling author or or, or US. Okay. And she said she's not read a book like this before. And there's an oh, author wow. speaking that she's not read a book as this before. Wow. So if you read from an author, Aye. not just an author. A best-selling author. author. Since she's not read a book like this before. Not just, uh, you, you want to know to what's really in this. Yes. Mr. Moko Facebook says, yeah, you will see the man I am having a conversation with. He's such a young man who is doing amazing for himself. Share, don't sit where you are and say, say, nothing can be done unless you move. When move here, you wouldn't know. Now, there's, he's launching two of his books this coming Saturday. So, what do you mean, Kwadia? Now, I'm by Wayabone. 
you definitely need to be there. Why? Because we are breaking that way, you know, say, we are not part of that generation because we want knowledge and we want knowledge are a bit boring. And to the most definitely this coming Saturday, we're all going to be there, not only to support, but to buy. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, Marriages of old were sustainable than the marriages of today. Mm. And one argument he mounted was the fact that in the past, parents and families were selecting people, so they do a background check. But because of modernity, times have changed. So now the burden has been placed on a young person to search for the right pa partner. So now if you're a young person, you're going to do the search. The information you have will determine the type of search you do. So the big search comes to help young people to be able to choose the right way. The Bible says people perish because of lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. So we want to provide people with knowledge, not just knowledge, but the right knowledge. Ah, yeah, the yes, that would guide them to choose rightly. Wow. So that is the big set. It talks basically about the set of a life partner. It talks about the concept of dating, why people choose wrong. And you see, one interesting thing I hear people say is that marriage can make or make you. But yeah, we don't tell people the exact ways marriage can make them look you. In this book, I explain 33 implications of who you choose to date and marry. And for me, if you read that part of the book, it takes away any foolishness. Wow. Because wow. you, it would instill in you some discipline. And no, I can't joke with this because Matthias the implications yeah. are die. All right. Yeah. So look at how a lady can assess a proposal. If I come and tell you, Cassandra, I love you, mm. how would you assess? Maybe I saw a post on Facebook one time mm -hmm. where somebody said, if three guys are pursuing you, how do you know? And the answers were funny to me. <laughs> All right, so I take time to unpack mm. what to do, the studies, why a man may be pursuing you, how would you know? I take time to do all of these things. I also look at the issues of marital delay. Some people are reductionists. They always think that people's marriage have delayed because of bad character. And that is simplistic. There are a lot of reasons why somebody may be facing delayed marriage. Yeah. So I take time to treat the, the, the issue with tact and grace. Wow. And I believe anybody who is suffering from delayed marriage should well, go to that yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, very book yes. And the second part is about the journey. After you select, last year, 27th of June, your program was Zoom. Mm. And a doctor asked me a question that after I've seen a lady and proposed to her and she says, yes, what do I do next? And I realized that, no. Ah. I thought this <laughs> question was a basic question. Yes, people need answers. Yeah. So the journey to the altar is a continuation of the big search. Okay, what husband. do we do during the dating? Many people date, you know, irresponsibly. That's why they get it wrong. Mm. So later, Friday, now walk out, walk out to ice cream and talk about useless matters. Every day morning, Hello, hi, how are you doing? How was your night? What did you do? It's true. Hello, hi. And one year, hello. Hello, hi. What did you do? Say, you dream about me. Hello, That's hi. all. <laughs> but there are questions that you need to really ask to know where you stand. There are a lot of questions. Like, I give about, <laughs> about, uh, about five or six areas. And under these areas, you see a lot of questions packed. And if you ask these questions, you will know whether you should continue or not. Oh, wow. I talk about when when to break up, and I give about 35, you know, grounds you can trigger breakup. I talk about how to sustain, and one important topic, component of a healthy relationship. People ask, how would I know I am in the right relationship? How would I know that I treat that in, the, in a what, simple what, what's way? What's up now? I'm say in your relationship. Well, hello, hi. Hi. Where did Hi, hi. No, I Where did it's after the year normal. Hello, hi. Like, hello, have you eaten? Eh. Where, so, what, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> it explains right. why people get it wrong. So you want to guide them in, you know. In guiding. Yes. It's very, very important. All right. Currently, so when there is any marital abuse or issue, people in a week will, will talk about it after the matter dies off. No, no, no. So people should not begin to take it into their hands that I'm going to pay every price to marry well. Some people have married well. It means you can also marry well. 
Amen. Those who married well are not human than you. Yes. They are not <laughs> loved by God more than you. So just pay the price they paid and marry well. It Absolutely. is possible. Just trust God. Just get the book. The book will provide every guidance you need to marry Absolutely. well. And trust me, God is going to use this book to help many people to get it right. You, you've done well. You've done well. Five books for a young man. You've done well. And um, well done. I mean, for me, no one said, read the book, no, but for the endorsements I may read, you know, it's a good one. And well done to you. Bright Agropa has been my guest in Ne. Like and subscribe and click on the notification. Happy FM. Nimdie. Happy FM. And Nijekwa.